And, um, you know, one of the quotes that Warren Buffett had said to me when I, when I met him for lunch with Guy Spear, he, and I don't know if this is the Buffett quote or it's a quote by someone else that he was quoting. He said to me, a whale only gets harpooned after it surfaces. And uh, he said that in the context of Ajit Jain. You know, I was talking to him about Ajit Jain and how Ajit is like so quiet and secretive and doesn't really talk much. And he has this, you know, monopoly business and whatever else in Berkshire. And, you know, you never hear anything about it. It's a huge business. And then Buffett, Buffett said, well, you know, Monish Avail only harpoons when it, gets, when it surfaces. And Ajit has no desire to ever surface. Anyway, so AWS, the whale, surfaced in 2015 or 2016. And as soon as it surfaced, two companies immediately took big notice of this. Microsoft jumped on the cloud in a very big way. And Google jumped on the cloud. And they were both actually shocked as to how much growth and scale Amazon already had. And Jeff probably realized that maybe he surfaced too soon, or maybe he didn't have a choice. Maybe his internal people were telling him, listen, you can't, you know, it's a public company, you're reporting stuff, and you can't just, you know, shove everything under a rug. At some point, you have to talk about what, what you do for as a, as a business. And, um, but anyway, the, the whale surfaced and instantly Microsoft pounced on that in a major way. And, and Alphabet Google also pounced on that in a major way. And the difference in the, the two players that pounced on this market is Microsoft's been selling to the enterprise for like 50 years, long time, 40 years. And uh, Google really didn't really have any expertise in selling to the enterprise. They were really more a company that, you know, created great technology and then they, you know, put it forth in the world and it just virally went forth from there. So Google still struggles with trying to get to the enterprise. And, but Microsoft, Microsoft also had a second advantage is they were, they had spent more than 40 years understanding how to scale by cloning. Uh, they are masters at cloning. And so they, they, they understood they were not, in almost all their businesses, they're not the first ones, but they're really good at uh, copying what people have done. And what the situation we find ourselves in today is AWS still leads because of that multi-year advantage, but Microsoft has, has caught up quite a bit. I mean, they're, they're still a number two player, but they're significantly ahead of Google, uh, which is a distant third. Uh, and then pretty much in the U.S., we don't have any other players. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a three-horse race. And it's unlikely that the, the positions of these three are going to change. 